bring you my review of Digimon Adventure 3. Yes, I talk about Digimon on this channel. Just only to review it and react to it. Not as a form of discussion. First of all, quick, quick, normal disclaimer. I am a casual Digimon fan. I watched the just show as a kid. I mean, I've seen it in Japanese like once. But even then, I skipped around. Like, I, wa I watched the part I liked in Japanese, and I watched a couple parts of Adventure, but I've never fully seen all of Adventure, like, fully dedicated to it in Japanese, and I've been, I haven't seen it all in English since I was, like, five, six, seven, like, it's been, like, ten years, so, I'll, I'll be, I'm gonna be out front with you, I'm not sure. Okay, so, we, there was this, the opening scene of the first movie was awesome. Even a casual, like, casual screwbag like me could figure out that Maki and Dutton, that, that, like, Daigo? Yeah, Daigo. We're, we're, we're a member of the original Digi that thing which I liked. It wasn't hard to figure out. All it required was knowledge of the former theory. I do, and I also liked how they tied in the, uh, Dark Masters. Like, if you remember, it was said in the original theory that the Dark they sealed the, the Dark Master away. I think it was, a, it was said, I think Apoclemon would stop them. I could be wrong. I believe it's Apoclemon, but all we know is there, were, there was a scene with five children and partner Digimon that looked remarkably similar to the original Digimon that we know, and it was stated they came here before and they failed. We don't know where to. So now we know a couple of things. One, they were with the Digimon Sovereign. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. I don't remember this stuff. But, but one of the Digimon, but Maki Digimon partner Stacker. It was like, it was very similar to what Anjumon did. So like all better Digimon lent Maki Digimon their power and he knew it to take out the enemy and then they took out the then they managed to defeat the Dark Master. Maki has a weird line where she's like, why we're only four chosen? I'm not sure what that means. Because in the original theory, when we saw the silhouette, there were five Diddy Destin. Maybe it's a plot hole. And maybe that's just going to be a plot hole. Like it is like... <coughs> I'm not even going to edit that. No, but it was, it was like... 1990 or something when Digimon came out? This is it 2000 and what? 17? I mean, I get it. Like, they weren't planning to make this. And if possible, or was he talking about the four Stomburn? Stomburn? What are they? Or is it Stomburn or Stombren? I don't know. I'm not a hardcore fan of this theory. But, uh, that was annoying. I mean, that was cool. Okay. So before the whole flatback thing was probably my favorite part of the movie, honestly. The rest of it wasn't good. I, there was nothing I really disliked in it, but there were a couple of things that I felt were executed pretty badly to the point where they were kind of boring. The Sora and Mimi thing. The, uh, Sora and Biomon stuff. And they, for the life of me, made me give as little of a shit as they possibly could. I did not care. I did not feel bad for Sora. In fact, I felt kind of like, well, Thora, your fault. Like, you, she does, Beomon doesn't know you, and you're, like, harping on her. Like, oh, we're not good friends, Beomon. It was, like, it was really hard to feel bad for Thora when it was clearly her fault. When it, everybody else was very cautious with it. Like, you know, they, they let everything kind of happen naturally. Thora seems to want the fourth thing to go back to how they were. And... That was annoying. Um, everything else was great. There was a problem though, alright? Maybe this is just maybe an uneducated idiot on Digimon, but I know one thing for sure. I checked. In the English and Japanese version, the Digimon are pre-programmed to work with these, to work with the Digi Destin. And in both, and when Tai and the others arrive in the Tai Chi, if you will, arrive in the digital world, I swear to you, all the Digimon know who they are. 
They all know who they are, and they've been waiting for them. So I'm very curious for why the reboot that reached the digital world made the Digimon forget them. I mean, I guess I can understand with Tailmon, because it was said it reached to roughly four years ago when they met the Digimon, from what I understand. So, I kind of get with, Ta with, with Gatomon or Tailmon or whatever her name is. I kind of get it because she was with my Otismon. You can definitely see the dub in me, the, the, the dub washer in me. But she was with my Otismon. And that's another thing. If this is a reboot to the way things were, why is Tailmon there? Shouldn't she be with Withermon and my Otismon? Like, is Withermon a lot? Like, is. It's confusing. Like, with. The reboot is confusing. I mean. I mean, think about it, guy. I mean, Withermon died in the real world, I and mean, we know if a Digimon dies in the real world, they they don't get, they don't convert into a Digi-Egg and they're not reborn. But the the reboot chain that, like, because everything and everything is being reset to the way it was prior to the events of the original series. Did, did that bring Withermon back? I'm assuming my Otis Mon is alive now. Like, I feel like there's a lot of things that are being unanswered, like questions that should be being asked that aren't, like, wait, you knew who we, like, you have been waiting for us when we first arrived here the first time. Why were you not waiting for us this time? Is my, is my Otis Mon alive? You know, the guy that took two ultimistic, that took War Greymon and War Garumon to kill? Yeah, you know that bastard? Is he alive? Is he back? Is he killing people again? Or do we need to stop him again? Do we need to worry about Devimon? We're on file island. They were on I get maybe not being worried about my Odifmon. He's on server content. They're on file islands. Are they not conferred with rookies? Like, you would think the moment they realized that they couldn't evolve with a god, I don't know why they didn't figure that out earlier. You think they would have been like, we're not Devimon, is Devimon alive? Shit! Like, no, there were a lot of questions that weren't asked. I also didn't like how long they dragged up a Beomon thing, as I said. Everything with Mako, Mako Mon was fine. Once again, I don't find them interesting. I really, really don't. I find it at this point redundant as hell. Like, make a mod and like everyone, make a mod, make a mod, we're gonna stay, make a make a mod, and and attacking everybody. Like, I knew right off the bat, like, this movie's gonna end with make a mod doing something, some bad shit, isn't it? Like, I knew right off the bat that something would end. And honestly, I will say it also wasn't funny, I mean, Sorry about that. That's my dog. I'm not gonna bother editing that. But, um, one thing I found interesting was this amazing. Another thing that I think needs to be discussed in a particular Ankari scene. I did like that. The scene, you know, the scene where, where uh, where Kari, like, teased the hell out of you. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was really funny, uh, and I also I I I also I also like ha how it's like how the, they know what the fans want with with those two characters. They know there's a huge net of the fan base that wants to have a relationship, and they're just like no, <laughs> they're like they're, they are they they are milking the hell out of that, and it is hilarious. Like, it's funny how badly they're milking it. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my review. I don't have much else to say. I think yeah, I do. Yeah. The stuff with War Greymon and War Garumon, that was a nice surprise. I mean, I knew about War Greymon, but I did not know about War, War Garumon. I knew that would happen. Uh, the stuff with, uh, Patamon's ultimate form. What's his name? I forgot his name, damn it. Um, I forget, I found him on, I found him on, I found him on, I remember being, I thought about Frontier, but, uh, 
Yeah, that was all really good. That I I knew about all of this because of the leaked uh, thing. Phoenix Mon. I did not know what to expect from Phoenix Mon. I never seen Phoenix Mon. I did not even know that was her, the form, the name. But uh, that was nice. Seeing Hercules Kab Kabuteri Mon was nice. Also, I did like how they evolved. Though I wasn't exactly sure why, if they don't have their memory, they were able to just bypass the thing they were doing before. Like, you would think because the connection was weak. Because on the Digimon, on the, on the Digimon's end, their connection should be weaker. And they shouldn't be strong enough. And they shouldn't, they shouldn't they need to, like, you know, like, reactivate the crest. Like, you, I remember in the first year, it was like, you had to exhibit the trait of your crest in bravery and com alongside in combat alongside your partner for them to evolve, I think. So I'm just curious to why they didn't have to do that this time. Like, what was no special this time around? I don't know. I'm, an, I'm just some idiot on the internet. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Animation was great. But it's weird to be in the Toei product, so it always feels weird to say the animation was good. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. I'll review and react to the next episode of Digimon Adventure 3. I started it out without no light. I honestly will be honest, I was just sitting on my ass and being lazy. And I just started around 10.30, decided to sit down and really record some videos. I've got a lot of awesome stuff coming your way. Hope you guys enjoyed. And tell me in the comments if you're a Naruto fan. Do you want me to review this week's Burrow this chapter? I'm probably not going to do it because I missed the chance to do it. It's already Sunday. And I missed the chance to review it. But I'll definitely be reviewing those in the future. I just didn't review that because it, I didn't have my computer on Thursday when the chapter came out. And then when I got it back on Friday, I was just kind of like... I'm tired. I don't feel like doing a review that's not going to get a ton of views because it's super late. I'm not for Neverworld. I can't do a review two weeks late and get a ton of views. And no, no, it's not a shot at for Neverworld, though. No, it's a comment. Alright, I'm ending this video now. Have a good day, guys. If I had to rate this movie, it's hard being a structured like separate episode. So, note I'm rating the whole thing as a whole. I would rate it a 3 out of 5. Not good, not great. I'm not going to go into far and say, oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen. I'm also not going to go into far and say, oh my god, this was really bad. It's just, I mean, it's all average. Everything in it, the act, even the action to an extent felt pretty average. It just kind of felt like, eh, standard, I guess. But yeah, hope you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Have a great day. This is One Piece Nation.